Oh wow, <laughs> how is it not? So I teach pre-K at Monocacy Elementary School and pre-K obviously is all about routines. It's about becoming a member of a school and all the rules and routines that that brings along with it. And so PASS has really transformed my culture this year and really creating a family feel. Uh, the students are very much like brother and sister um, and they are so close-knit and super supportive of each other. They're very empathetic, and I think all of that comes from the many, many conversations we've had through past lessons of talking about their feelings, understanding and coping with that, so they really understand each other, and they feel what the other is feeling when they're going through um, a certain activity or emotion. Um, so that has been really supportive. The cool thing about PATHS is that it naturally creates a classroom culture. Um, it provides children with opportunities to talk with one another, to learn how to have conversations. It focuses on giving compliments and getting compliments, so it naturally creates a kindness in your classroom and a um, almost a friendship and family feel just from the lessons themselves. So PASS has transformed my classroom culture by having the students um, being able to express their emotions and their feelings a lot more. Um, in second grade, it is truly difficult to understand all the different emotions. A lot of students only know I'm happy, sad, or angry, but now my students know all these various emotions and they are able to come together as what they like to call a class family and be able to identify um, each other's needs and social needs and emotional needs. I teach special ed learning for life, so PATH has really helped transform the culture in my classroom. We focus a lot on functional needs and communication, which is the, one of the main goals of PATHs. So we spend a lot of time talking about our feelings, which is exactly what PATHs has done. It's given the students more words and other ways for them to show how they feel and even explain how they feel. So PATHS directly supports that and it has, I've seen great success and growth with my students, um, even some of the students with some low IQs really being able to talk and express their feelings. I've noticed a bigger empathy among the students. Students are really concerned about how others are feeling, what their reactions are, they are also trying to solve problems that they see or situations independently instead of coming to me and requiring me or asking me to help them. They're using the steps that we teach them in paths to go through and problem solve and analyze and decide whether or not it will work. Students are also more um, in touch with how they're feeling and the fact that they're able to put an emotion and words to what they're feeling internally, which we, instead of reacting to a situation. I have noticed that my students have cared so much for one another. Um, they really, truly care if someone gets upset. Um, they know the right things to say to students. They know if a student is getting frustrated with work, they tell them to use their path strategies. They influence each other in positive ways. I've also noticed that students in math and in reading are able to increase their scores because in math, they can now discuss um, with me and with other students and in their work about the different math strategies. And in reading, they can talk about books more fluently and um, they can comprehend the books more um, just by being able to connect with the characters in the book. Wow, behavior has been almost, or oh, negative behavior has been almost non-existent. Um, but also on the assessment side of things, obviously in early childhood education, oral language is a huge piece of our curriculum. And I can say firsthand, seeing some of the data that we've had at the end of the year, our data in oral language is so much higher than I've experienced in 10 years of teaching pre-K. So that was extremely motivating. And again, I was trying to rack my brain thinking, where did this come from? How has this data jumped so high? Um, and I really believe 
firmly that it's from paths. Um, their need to talk about their problems, their need to, to, to identify how they feel, really helps them get through just language in general and communication and being able to speak back and forth with both their teachers and their peers, um, and that is all a tribute to PATHS. One of the largest benefits I've noticed since implementing PATHS is the students being able to recognize how they're feeling. For students with special ed, that are in special ed and students with behavioral issues, that is one of the hardest things for them to do is to be able to recognize their feelings because if they can't recognize it, they don't know how to take their next steps. So with PATHS, we really focused on teaching the feelings, identifying that feeling, and teaching the students that it's okay to have those feelings. And truthfully, that is one of the biggest, most beneficial things that I've seen with this program. I think it's vital. Um, these students have so much um, trauma. Everyone has some sort of trauma that they, from their outside life that they're coming into school with, but don't know how to express that. So I think it's vital for them to learn how to understand that the feelings that they have from day to day, throughout the day, are all okay feelings and that you can change those feelings to have better feelings and you have everything you need within yourself to work through those feelings. Also, if, if students are not emotionally ready, if they're not emotionally open, no academics are gonna, are gonna get through. So it's a great way to start your day, get kids ready for learning. For skeptics, I would say give it your all. This is not something extra to do. This is not an extra curriculum. It, it's natural. It's a natural way, especially to start your school year, to build, like I said, your classroom community and just to learn how to talk with each other and to learn about yourself. It's a mindfulness. So give it your all because the, the effects that you're going to get out of it are not just going to be behavioral. You're going to see it with focus, you're going to see it with relentlessness, it's going to pay off in every area of your classroom. Um, I am rarely a skeptic, so this is a hard question to answer, um, but I would say that it's a commitment, um, as anything is, any new program will be, um, but it is what you make it, and uh, in the pre-K level I have puppets, and I go 100% with those puppets. They have different accents, they have different personalities, and the kids anchor to that. They understand what Duke the dog, um, how he feels about emotions, what he's bringing to the table, that it's okay to feel angry and upset as long as you are expressing it um, appropriately. They understand that Twiggle is a fun-loving turtle and he's there to support us in any way that we need. Um, so they are gonna really believe what you want them to believe. So as a skeptic, I would say it is what you make it. And if you want it to be as successful of a program as it's meant to be, then go all in and have fun with it. And because that's what's going to make the kids really enjoy it as well. I do think it's changed a little bit. I mean, I feel I have a mommy sense with my class anyway, but I do, it has taught me a lot about my feelings and how I react to things. So I'm able to stop and take a breath and tell them I'm feeling in the red zone or this is making me feel frustrated and then tell them what I need them to do to help make that feeling go away. So I do think it's changed even how I react to students. And I think that it's also helped me to help them. So when they, I see them starting to have feelings or I see them starting to react, I'm able to use quiet signals, universal signals to help calm that down. My students, yes. My family, my own children, yes. Um, it has made me so much more patient. Um, as an educator, as a mom, um, as a friend, it has made me really slow down and think about 
on my own account what are these feelings that I have and why am I feeling this way how can I you know get through that how can I take a deep breath and calm down on my own it's funny because a lot of times throughout the day if the students start to see me you know get a little frustrated or maybe I lose a small bit of my temper they will actually suggest a coping strategy that Twiggle has introduced to them and it makes me stop and laugh which every teacher needs to do throughout the day but it also helps me realize too yes these strategies that I am you know enforcing for these kids is also something I need to be modeling for them as well so it's something that really helps me check back in with what I expect them to learn and also what I expect to model as a human being to be successful in life. It has. Um, I'm not readily jumping in to solve things. They have path partners that they go to first. Um, we're really trying to get students to analyze, to be reflective, to be introspective, and to carry these things into daily interaction with anybody they can, they come to. Um, I've had several kids say, hey, I've used this at home and it really worked. So I thought that was a, a bonus. That's been, I think, my favorite part is how they interact with each other. I have never in my 21 years of teaching seen children be able to talk to each other about situations or to be able to say, can you please stop doing that? It's making me feel. I've never seen kids care about each other and have as much compassion and empathy as I have seen since starting PATHS and watching them almost, almost a sense of team and family. They not only are monitoring their, their selves, but they'll, they'll take care of their neighbor if they see that their neighbor is starting to have an uncomfortable feeling or if they're getting overly excited, they're able to help them work through it and use the control signals and the breathing techniques and everything that we've practiced. So that has been tremendous and actually the sweetest thing to, to see. Oh, absolutely. Um, with my students, they treat each other like a family and they respect one another. Um, I hear them constantly um, asking about how they are feeling that day, even if I'm not even asking about it. I have students who um, behaviors are very um, extreme and they will shut down and I have other students go over and just hold them and they do breathing techniques together um, and that happens quite often. I have people or students in my class who they get really upset and they start crying and the first thing they do is I have five students go up to them and ask them if they want to hug and if they want to breathe with them and that's the first thing they always do and then they go into all right let's make a plan and they go to the stop sign together um, and then the students are able to problem solve a lot more with one another and they are respecting their peers more in their emotions and they're also respecting adults and their emotions and they're understanding that I can have the same emotions as they can so it's more relatable with the students.